Hi everyone, Lisa Haven here, and I've got an update on the situation in North Korea. Look, to be honest, we are in some of the most perilous times. Uh, speaking of war, I mean, this kind of stuff played out in, in world wars before, and it's playing out again. Uh, and here's the thing with North Korea, a lot of people say, oh, we don't need to take them seriously, you know, uh, they should be able to do their, their tests. No, I don't think they should. It's kind of like this, if somebody said they were gonna blow up your house, right over and over and over and over again because we have to go back to daddy kim jong-un's daddy when he made threats of similar nature uh north korea has always been spouting that yes but it needs to stop right right needs to stop so back to my analogy if somebody says i'm gonna blow up your house and blow up your house over and over and over and over again and then they start buying the material and mocking up a, a little pretend blowing up a house well i don't think you're gonna sit back and do nothing you're going to report them to authorities you're gonna take uh uh, this as it to a next level you're gonna take it to court and all of that same thing with what's going on and look he's an idiot Kim Jong-un that's just what he is uh, excuse my French there but that's the truth he's a crazy guy ready to go off at the lick of a dime uh, if that isn't even is a statement lick of a dime <laughs> maybe not I think I made that up uh, all right so look I got a whiteboard for all you people who were saying get a whiteboard um yes so I do actually own one uh but here is kind of the latest in a nutshell we have Russia we have United States of America North Korea China and Japan um here uh just kind of a recap here we have United States of America which I've drawn up in blue send their ship okay the USS Vinson uh, here into the waters to the North Korean border. However, China here, um, and I ran out of color, so China and Japan are both black, but this is China. China reportedly, and I did this report the other day, but China reportedly sent a vessel to chase the um, USS Vincent there, as well as Russia, and I'm gonna draw, out, draw a little green, uh, Russia ship came to keep an eye on United States of America because according to them, they don't want us to go to war with North Korea. So, so far we have um, USS Vincent along with China and Russia in our waters there. Uh, we have North Korea here who recently said, I'm going to do more and more and more. Those are plus sign missile launches on a weekly basis. Uh, let me just do week or no. You guys know that. So anyway, they said that they're gonna do a test every week now, uh, which means Donald Trump with USA has already promised that he would shoot that bad boy out of the air if he launches more. Uh, we know his last one was a big fat fizzle and fizzled in the air there. But now let's add the latest. Okay, we have Japan uh, who now has also sent their uh, military vessel here in the water and this is the Japan ship, and I'm gonna put a J on that one because uh, Japan and China are the same colors on this because I didn't have an extra color. But Japan has sent their ship to North Korea. Japan has also sent 60,000, this was an earlier report, people out of the country from, from South Korea. So this is uh, South Korea down here, okay? So they evacuated some 60 some odd thousand people in anticipation of war. We know that there is speculation around 600,000 has been evacuated from North Korea. Now, whether or not they are back in the country or where that sits, I'm not quite sure uh, because they were, some were there for the parade or where, I'm not quite sure what's happening with that. So there you have that speculations or, or what's going on there, I'm not sure. Okay, so now let's add some of the stuff that happened today. Uh, we have Alaska up here in the USA. I'm just gonna write A-L-A-S-K-A -A -A for Alaska. Uh, and that's up here. Well, suddenly, earlier today, we have Russia sending planes. This is going to be my mock-up of a plane, if you will, or military bombers. Not one, but two Russian military bombers near the coast of Alaska. And as a result, I guess President Trump was a little concerned, so we sent up our own uh, military aircraft to keep an eye on what's going on here. Now, we followed them, I think, for about 12 minutes, according to the report, and I'll throw it up on the screen here so you have an idea, but we followed them for a good 12 minutes, and then all of a sudden they turned around and went back to Russia. So that's what it's sitting like. And also we had troops 
Uh, I forgot to mention China, but we had troops come from China over to the North Korean border. And uh, rumors also, rumors again, of Russia sending troops into North Korea or on the North Korean and uh, South Korean border there. So those are my little Russian people. Uh, but that's it. That's it in a nutshell. You can see here now, uh, this is added just today. Uh, and tensions with Russia and Putin and uh, Donald Trump have been higher lately. Uh, I think Rex Tillerson had a meeting and said they're at an all-time high, meaning the relationships between Russia and Trump are not good. Uh, we know, uh, again, Russia's a little pissed off at America. Why? Because of Syria and the fact that Donald Trump bombed Syria. So again, they're very mad. And I'm gonna draw a mad face at Donald Trump right now. Um, so they're not happy with America. There, ergo, my blue angle uh, or um, arrow. <laughs> but anyhow, Russia is very ticked off about what happened in Syria. And now we have all the stuff breaking out with, well, North Korea over here. So whose side are they going to be on? Are they going to, is Russia and China going to stand with America? Uh, are they going to stand with North Korea? Are we going to end up in war? Is North Korea actually going to launch the missiles? Is Donald Trump going to stop him, you know, from launching those particular missiles? Well, all of that's in the air. And here's the thing. I'm going to tell you the truth as it is. Uh, if you watch CNN, MSNBC, ABC, or any of those types of kind of types of channels, they don't tell you all this information. They tell you what they think you need to know and then leave it at that. They don't report rumor, uh, like some stuff, we need to know some of the rumors because a lot of that doesn't get reported, but there's actual video footage of a lot of those rumors of um, people being on the borders there uh, in North Korea, troops being on the borders there in North Korea. But I mean, it's, it's gone from, I lost my lid anyway. I guess I'm out of blue now. <laughs> anyway, um, you kind of get an overall of this situation, but um, I'm a little concerned about the bombers up there from Russia being sent to Alaska. Why? Well, good question. Anyhow, I'd love to hear your comments and concerns uh, about the entire situation, what's going on. Uh, and again, uh, thanks again for tuning into my channel here. This is Lisa Haven uh, signing out.